My name is Matt Huey. I'm Senior Manager of Coda Karting and Coda Land in Austin, Texas. And we just announced our new coaster for 2022, Paladrome. Kind of our main entrance, what we you know call the Grand Plaza, is where Colain kind of started, and we had eight kitty rides in that general area. The nice thing about Circuit of the Americas is we have plenty of room, and so plenty of room to grow this uh, park to whatever size we want it. When we were looking at the ride in the, in the space we wanted to put it in, there were some elements that we had to have to make it work and fit. One of those was a vertical lift. Our owner wanted to actually cross over one of our main roads coming into the park. And we were thinking more of an out and back style coaster was kind of what I, you know, more a little bit more of a traditional coaster. When Gershlauer presented the, the media to me, I said, this is fantastic. Um, I even think about using the same track. I like the going backwards aspect to it. And so they're really the ones who kind of came up with that creative and we fell in love with it immediately. We did you know, contact multiple manufacturers, but coming right off of COVID, a lot of them had not really geared up yet and really weren't ready for doing any type of production. Uh, also with our time constraints of wanting to open for the next F1 race in 22, it made it very difficult. So a lot of them wanted to offer us something that they could do right off the shelf, something that they'd already made before. And unfortunately that just didn't fit within the parameters of what we were looking for. It just, we, didn't, we need those elements. We needed a vertical lift and we had to jump across the road. Those were two things that had to happen. And so Gershlauer is the only one that came to the plate that said, we can do it, we can engineer it, and we can make it happen. We wanted the lap bar because anytime you're doing the over the head restraint type of system, there's always going to be those challenges with that and your head bangs, something like that. So we really wanted to stay away from that as much as we could. And they were like, hey, we, we got that figured out. So a lot of people are like, well, what about loose articles? We understand that. So we will have some type of netting, some type of covering of some sort, but we don't want to ruin the view because one of the things we want to do is we want people driving up to Coda Land, we want them to see that. That's a very iconic coaster and it's an iconic moment. And so we want them to, we don't want to hide it with anything, but we are putting things in place for protection. So there won't be any issues as far as dropping objects and so on and so forth. We can't wait for them. We're so excited. And I still think that Gershaw was able to step up to the plate and make something happen. And so that's what I'd like to introduce Paladron. We're going over name after name after name. And when you talk about a ride that goes forward and backwards, you know, they already had like the flashback and they've had all those type of rides. I didn't want to, you know, kind of use a name that's already been used before. I mean, we spent weeks and then really almost months trying to come up with this name, and all of a sudden I thought, you know, what about this? I mean, you know, it's kind of the same going forward as it going backwards, and, and Paladrums kind of fit. So I threw it out there, and uh, our owner's, uh, at that time, fiance, fell in love with the name, and so it was immediately agreed upon that will be the name of the ride. <laughs> We're in the process of getting the soil samples done and just all the, you know, the civil work that has to go into place. We're hoping to see still arriving somewhere mid-summer time with the uh, opening of hopefully uh, late September, early October. That's our goal. We are growing up at a rapid pace. We're introducing a, a large, giant log flume that's 350 feet in length, 150 feet in width. We're also uh, presenting a giant uh, ride called the Sky Blazer, which is a 200-foot swing ride. You're going to see stuff that's just kind of different, unique. Yeah, we have some traditional stuff like a you know tilt-a-whirl and, and some of the basic rides, the carousel, but there are also some unique things we're going to find there that, that make this kind of special. <laughs> <laughs>